is there was an elephant that was tied outside the temple and um, on the back leg of that elephant was a rope a silver rope that was tied but it wasn't anchored to anything the elephant stood there for the whole day and it did what it was bid to do so i asked this man i said why have you tied a rope around the leg but it's not anchored it's not like the elephant is going to run away he said forget about running away it won't even move the elephant is going to be there and i said how did that happen so what they do is they take a young elephant which is 3 4 months old they tie a twine around its leg the same bright uh, 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 rope and they tie it to a small sapling literally the small baby elephant tries many times to break it and go away and be with its mother but it can't and um, eventually it is it is ingrained its mind that this string means that i can't move from here even though as it grows up it's just a small tug and the tree would fall this elephant that can lift a tree that is anchored to is actually anchored by an invisible string on its leg ma'am i can't tell you how many of those invisible ropes we try around our brains because of our conditioning and the way that we are brought up in our in our uh, society and in our um, uh, cultures that chain might not necessarily be a bad thing it might be able to anchor you to help you settle down in what i call the the end game of your life when you want to know who you are what culture matters to you what kind of people you want to retire with and what sort of a society you want to build around yourself when you when you hang up your boots but that change should not come into place when it comes to innovation yes. and to and to reach the kind of goals that you didn't even imagine exist